Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. It is a beautiful day. Christmas is coming upon us. And as beautiful as it is and as warm and fuzzy as the season feels, there's a sad current that always happens during this time of the year. And one of the main reasons is because there are people who end up getting stuck in the hospital and unfortunately, many die during this season. I don't know what it is about this time of the year, but almost every one of us can think of one person in our family we lost somewhere between November and, our, and our December. So I want to comfort you with these words. God knows what he's doing. And it may seem like it's really thoughtless of God. God has abandoned. God has gone back on his word, but he has not. See, God is a God of purpose. And whatever he allows, he allows for a reason. In the book of Isaiah, I think it's Isaiah chapter six, Isaiah says, the year King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord. Now, during the time that he experienced the Lord, that was when he received his call and his divine appointment, his divine assignment. Now, many of you don't realize that some things won't happen in your life until certain family members have moved on or have moved on. And the reason for that is because there is a certain position that there's a certain role you play, a certain role I play in each person's life that's intertwined with ours. And when you are involved in other people's lives, there is a certain purpose you fulfill in their life. There is a certain need that you meet that no one else can meet, whether it's emotional, psychological, financial, whatever there is a certain need that you meet. Now, when God is ready for you to move to another level or to another position or assignment, there are times that certain people must be taken out of the equation, not because they're bad, not because they are sinful, nothing like that, but because God is a God of purpose. And as long as certain people are in our lives, we cannot focus the way we need to focus on the things God has for us. I knew, for example, when it was time for my husband to go. I knew it and he knew it. And the thing I, I realized God was letting me know was when he got through with me taking care of my husband, there would come a time when God had to take care of me. And after he took care of me, he would begin to line me up, shape me up, position me for my next level and my next assignments. And those assignments I could not fulfill as long as I was still my husband's 24-hour nurse. We both knew it. So I'm trying to get you to understand that even though you have to let go, knowing the purposes of God makes it a little easier to deal with, makes it uh, fathomable. I mean, I cried my eyes out for years over my husband's passing away, but I understood. I did not get angry with God because he let it be known to both of us. There was a reason for him leaving when he left. So when God called my husband home, he told me within months, he told me my husband passed in, a, in the, the middle, toward the end of October, right before you know the Thanksgiving holidays and all that. Toward the end of October, he told me, I'm taking care of you now. And I knew that meant physically. I knew my body wasn't in shape. I knew things were going 
cuckoo because I could feel it. But I didn't have health care and I didn't have the time to deal with it. So what I kept praying was, Lord, let me have all of me left when my husband goes home. I want all of me. If I'm going to serve you, I would like to have all of me to serve you with. And he spent the next three years taking care of me, showing the things that needed attention. And after my ICU stay at the hospital in uh, 2016, that was the third year after my husband passed away. Then the Lord spent the next two years with me recovering. And now we're at the end of 2018. I am 78 pounds lighter. My heart is beating with a regular beat, a good rhythm. I no longer have congestive heart failure. I have, you know, the doctor is still trying to take care of some issues, but I'm not owning those issues. I almost said I have, I don't have it. It's just a temporary thing. And I'm still recovering and still healing. And when I am totally, totally, totally healed, see by faith, I'm totally healed now. I just have to walk through the completion of that healing process. And I am aiming at another 20 to 30 pounds. That's determined by the Lord of losing uh, that much more weight, which will equate to a total of 115 pounds, thereabouts, between 105 and 115 pounds. I'm not losing for the sake of looks. I have my man. My man is with the Lord. I'm doing it for the sake of my health. I feel better. I have more stamina. I'm, I'm stronger. I feel it. And I want to get all the way back to myself. I want to get so far back to myself that I will be able to get back on the racquetball court and play racquetball again. Yeah. So I'm asking for you, those of you who are having a difficult time, look at what God's doing in your life. Do you have physical issues that he wants to address? Do you have dietary issues he wants to address? Are there things he wants removed out of your life? Are there things that you need to stop doing that's harming you? Is there a level of emotional stress that you need to be relieved of but it's impossible right now. So you need to seek God and accept his wisdom that there are times that he will have to take people away from you in order for him to get you in the center of his will for the next season of your life. There's a reason for every season. And I'm not just talking about Christmas. There's a reason for the season of trials. There's a reason for the season of deaths. There's a reason for sickness. There's a reason for loss. There is a reason for every season in your life. There is a reason. So understand that when you know that God knows exactly why he's doing what he's doing. He knows, he knows the plans he has for you, plans to bless you, not harm you. So understand that and trust his heart. When you can't figure out what the heck his hands are doing, trust God's heart. His heart is for you. God bless you as you try to navigate through the pain that this season often brings. God bless you as you as you are determined to trust God through it all. Amen. Be encouraged. Be comforted. Amen.